And that is how you make an edible ornament. Christy McConnell. So I'm back with another Christy McConnell craft and this time we're doing the shrunken head ornaments that are cookies from episode six of the Curious Creations of Christy McConnell, which I have already done a few of her creations if you have not seen them. I've done so far the DIY scary face candle. I did the DIY edible teacup. And the most recent one I did was the peanut butter bones. So this time, I'm excited to do the shrunken head ornaments. As I always say, Christy McConnell's creations never look that hard, but also end up being harder than they look. So we'll see, because this one's like one of those, I was like, I could, I could do that. That looks doable. I also like that the ingredients are limited and it didn't require a ton of things. The first step to making these is to bake off either a sugar cookie or a shortbread. You do need shortbread cookies, and I happen to make my own. The only problem is that I think I made them a little too small, and they came out all lumpy and frumpy because I, I'm not good at making shortbread cookies. It was my first time trying to make them and they were crumbling all over the place and I'm just praying that this all works out for me. So we'll see. Should I have bought store-bought shortbread cookies? Maybe. You also need food coloring. You need like some kind of string or twine. Sculpting tools. She does mention paintbrushes at some point. You need a dermal tool, which I don't have. The dermal tool is gonna come in handy for carving these out and getting them into the really precise shape that we want them. I do have this nail file thingy that it's kind of like a dermal tool, so hopefully that works out. Listen, I was not about to go out and buy a dermal tool just so I could do this one craft. I did go and buy this airbrush for this craft. So that's about as much effort as I was willing to put into buying something. I did make my own shortbread cookies. I bought an airbrush. First time ever using one of these little thingies, and I got it on Amazon for 15 bucks. So not bad. There's a lot of different reasons and ways that this can go bad. <laughs> But we'll see. She mentions that you can use candy to fill the ornaments up with. I thought we'll just use peanuts because I'm not, whatever. Who's gonna know? Who's gonna know? So the first step after you have made your shortbread cookies is that you need to hollow them out using your little dermal tool. So we're gonna hollow these out just a little bit and fill them with candy before we seal them shut. So uh, I'm scared the cookie is gonna just fall apart. It's fine and we're gonna make it work. I need to make sure we have protective wear. <laughs> Honestly, this is working. It's just gonna take a little longer. All of Christine McConnell's crafts require somehow making a mess. At least the cookie isn't falling apart, which I'm happy about. So now you know, you don't need to buy a dermal tool. You can just use a nail file thingy. <laughs> Okay, I have my two hollowed out cookies. I think I hollowed them out enough, I don't know. I was scared if I kept going too deep, they would just fall apart. So far, so good. Now we have to fill it up with candy or, in my case, peanuts. I'm using chocolate covered raisins, but you can use whatever you like. And since they're pretty small and they're not that hollow, whoops. I can't fill it up too much with peanuts, but that's okay, that's fine. We're not here for the peanuts. And then we're going to seal it with royal icing, which is my favorite edible glue. Okay, next we have to make the edible glue or the royal icing. And basically to make royal icing, after Googling it, it's uh, egg whites and confectioner sugar. So I kind of forgot to mention that at the beginning. You also need royal icing. I guess you could go buy that. I don't know. When I went to Publix, I tried looking for royal icing and it doesn't seem to be a thing I could buy there. So I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to make it myself. I'm using about 1.5 ounces of egg whites about two cups of confectioner sugar. It took a few minutes, like maybe five minutes, but I think I got the royal icing texture that I need. And she didn't specify like exactly how to use the icing. I'm just gonna... Put it like this. <laughs> I don't know if this is like the tech. Oops. I don't know if this is the texture I'm supposed to have, or if it's supposed to be more on the 
thicker side, but I was at it for a while. I'm just gonna let this sit for a little bit and kind of like, I don't know, harden. All right, so my, it's a little sloppy looking, but I think it worked because if I do this, it doesn't fall apart. So it looks like the glue is successful. So on to the hardest part, I think, which is carving the face. At this stage, we're gonna start sculpting in some of the basic features for our shrunken head. And I know she's starting with a smooth surface and my cookies are all frumpy and stuff, but I think I should hopefully be able to do this. Let's see. Gonna start by making the eyes. We have to kind of make the the like thin nose around here, which is the hard part. <laughs> we need to have like sunken cheeks. So I'm just gonna try to hollow out the cheek area. It's kind of looking like a face. I mean, does that look like a head? I think it kind of does. Should I stop here or should I keep going? I don't know. I'm scared if I keep going, I'll mess it up, but let's just. I think we got something going here and I'm scared to mess it up. So we're gonna stop there for now. So at this point, she uses more real icing to kind of amplify the features. But the problem is, I think my royal icing is a little too thin. I'm scared it's gonna just be a big mess. So I'm kind of thinking that maybe I should cheat and use like decorating icing, cause I don't know, I feel like it'll be more like stiff compared to like what I've got here. So we're just gonna try it out, see what happens. I'm doing here I don't feel like I'm very artistic and I feel like I don't know if there's a point <laughs> to what I'm just doing <laughs> it still looks like a head to me so I think we're gonna leave it there I have an airbrush right I forgot the part where you need some type of like portable air pressure thingy <laughs> so we're gonna have to go to my car to do this next step with the food coloring because I don't have any other way to use the air pressure thingy. I'm gonna have to use the one I use for my tires. So come to my car with me so we can airbrush this nice and brown. We're in my car. I got my little head with me. I have my airbrush and we're gonna go ahead. <laughs> I got some protective stuff so I don't get the car dirty. All right, listen, was it a mess? Yes. Was it practical? I don't know. Would it have been easier to have just painted it on with food coloring, like with a brush? Perhaps. Did it kind of fall apart in the car? Yes, it did. But you know what? The fact that it actually worked is the part to me that makes it <laughs> totally worth the experience. I'm happy so far <laughs> with my little shrunken head. He, he isn't doing too well. He's kind of falling apart. You know, it's he's all... It's not going well, guys. Also, she mentioned that there's a string involved in order to create the ornament. So I'm just gonna do that now. This is disastrous, but you know what? <laughs> okay, last step is the little finishing touches of the eyeballs and all that. This has been a mess, so we're just gonna keep it going and do the best we can. Honestly, not that bad. <laughs> I'm not, I mean, I don't hate it. I mean, it's not Christine McConnell quality, but considering, I don't think it's that bad. Okay, so is the shrunken head perfect? No. But did I do it and does it look like a shrunken head? Yes. And I feel happy with that. I'm very proud of myself, <laughs> even if it's a giant mess. Um, 
Now I have my little shrunken head ornament, and I think this is a fun one if you decide to ever try it yourself. Hopefully you learn from my mistakes, and hopefully <laughs> it goes better for you and you have a better way to do the airbrush part than to go in your car and use the, you know, the tire pressure thing. But hey, that's what you have to do. It works. Comment down below and let me know, have you ever done a Christine McConnell craft? And if you have, which one? And what should I try next? Because she has like so many fun ones that look doable, like the caramel spider one. And you know, I don't know, sewing a dress, no okay. <laughs> but I thought this one was such a classic one that I had to do it. So, uh, toodaloo!